Alright, so welcome to How to Dino. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to send embedded messages with Dinobot. If you guys are not aware, Dinobot Regular now has access to the Message Embedder module. This used to be a feature that was premium only, but now has trickled down into regular Dino. The only limitation with this module is that you're only allowed to create three embedded messages within the module. If you would like to create more embedded messages, I suggest upgrading to premium. Now to get started, head over to dino.gg, click on the manage service button, select the server you'd like to manage. Let's head over to modules, find message embedder, and make sure the module is enabled. All right, to begin, we must give our embedded message a unique name. We'll name this how to dino, and then select the channel we'd like dino to send the embedded message to. In our case, I'd like Dino to send it to channel two. And here we can actually choose the color of our embed. So before I continue, let me just add a title so we can actually get this preview going down here. So now we have our preview. This will update as you input information into the field. With this color change, we can actually change the color of the little stripe at the edge of the embed. So for our case, I'm going to change it to a nice bright yellow. And we already have our title in here. But before we continue, I like to go ahead and say that a lot of these fields are optional. You do not have to enter anything into these fields. Uh, this is all customizable, but you do have to enter at least some type of character into one of the fields for Dino to actually send the embedded message. So for all I care, you could literally just send an embed with the title, with this test title and be done. But that's not what we're going to do in this video. I'm just going to go over each of the fields. So with the title, I'm just going to put as test, put it right at the top, and then we can even give it a URL to make it clickable. As you can see, we can even click on it here in the preview. For the description, you can put whatever you'd like. Again, this is all up to you. I'm just going through the fields. So it'll put it beneath the title and I can just put this is a test. As you can see, it's not really bold. It's a little lighter and smaller. And over here, we also have the option to drag this. So if you have a lot to type, uh, you can adjust this and so you can actually see everything. But do keep in mind that embeds do have a character limit. So if you reach that limit, you may receive an error message over here saying something went wrong or something along those lines. You may also receive that error message if you forget to uh, give your embedded message a unique name. So also keep that in mind or forget to add a channel. So here we can add an author name. It doesn't necessarily have to be the name of an author because this will go above the title. So uh, for our example, we can just put how to dino. But again, you can enter whatever you like. We have the option to add an author icon. So just paste in your link to whatever image. It could be off of Google. Just make sure it's a direct image link. And then we can also insert thumbnails, which will go off to the right. And then an image, which are much bigger. We have the option to enter some footer text, so we can just enter how to dino here and a footer icon, which are for images. And then we can, we also have the option to add some fields. So the name of the field will just be up top in bold. So we, we can just say test one and the value is the text. So this is a test. Then we also have the option to add another field. So test two, this is a test. And then if you click on inline, this will actually structure your information into columns. So instead of it being in rows, you can have Dino structure it into sets of columns. I'm just gonna leave those enabled. And then once you're done, just go ahead and hit save and send. Once you've hit that button, Dino will go ahead and send the embedded message to the channel of your choice. And if you would like to come back to edit the embed, make sure you come back and click on the embed here, then edit whatever you need. Please keep in mind that if you want to delete the embed, please come over to the dashboard and click on this delete button. Uh, if you delete it through Discord, uh, you'll be left with the embed here. And if you try to edit it, it won't do anything. You'll receive an error because the embed does not exist. So try to remember to delete it from here. If you forget to delete it from here and you do happen to delete it from Discord, just come back over here and just click on delete. It's not that big of a deal. Now, as I said earlier, we are only limited to three embedded messages. So I'm just going to go ahead and demonstrate that. We have a clone option here and we'll just copy everything we had in our other embed and allow us to create a new one. So we'll just name this one how to. Now I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys 
that we are limited to three embedded messages. We're gonna go ahead and clone the message. We'll give it a unique name, how to, select the channel, general, save and send. Clone this one, how three, channel, logs, save and send. Now, after this, we shouldn't be able to create another embed. We can do how four, select the channel, why not welcome, save and send. And as you can see, something went wrong and that's because we're only limited to three embedded messages. So that's pretty much it. I will go ahead and post a screenshot of what Dino sent in the server, and it should look very identical to the preview down here. Do keep in mind that the preview isn't always 100% accurate. Sometimes with uh, image links, you might get like a broken image symbol here. Uh, just go ahead and save and send it and then see if the uh, images resolve in the Discord server because that tends to be the case. And also something with the color, if you some of the colors don't exactly match up. So if you choose like a light green, it doesn't really match up in the preview. But once you hit save and send and actually send it to the server, everything should look the way you configured it here in the dashboard. So that's pretty much it. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Please remember to like, share, comment and subscribe and thanks for watching catch you in the next video thanks for watching remember to like share comment and subscribe